So I was on the way home from Whataburger today, and I decided to get myself a special treat. Uh, I had to wait on my uh, cinnamon roll because I had to get extra ketchup for my bag. Duh. This is your cue to start gagging uncontrollably. Was there a punchline to that? <laughs> I just wanted to irk you guys by by saying that I'm making y'all think I put ketchup on my cinnamon roll. I don't believe it or not, this was mom's idea. Look, you're allowed Fail. to use ketchup after you go to Whataburger. I'm pretty sure there are no laws against it. I know, but mom was laughing so hard thinking I was going to put ketchup on my cinnamon roll. Now you have to. Maybe. For content! I am into it! Yeah, oh. baby. Oh, for fuck's sake, if it's gonna happen again! Aggression principle. <laughs> Sorry, uh -oh. I just I realized something you don't know yet, but. 2000. Yes. I do like preempting things that you will f eventually, like, the light will click as soon as you. S well, I think Matthew's light will click a bit quicker, just because he has a clapper. But we'll find, we'll see how it works. <laughs> Aggression principal. Considering his first name, which of these cereals is Principal Scudworth from Clone High most likely to use to feed his ego? Fruit Loop, Special Case, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, or Cap'n Crunch? Ah. Matthew's lucky he was not able to talk me into watching Clone High of him, because I'd know the answer otherwise. Yes, you would. I'm gonna go with D. Oh my gosh, you couldn't be more wrong. Yeah, that was right next to the answer, though. Scudworth's full name is Cinnamon J. Scudworth. Hmm. You know what? They must have hated him. The intro that you made a week ago for this episode was you fit putting ketchup on guess fucking what? A cinnamon roll. <laughs> Cinnamon J. Scudworth roll. <sighs> Rub him down with ketchup and call him mom. What? Uh, you didn't like that considering it's Scudworth. I didn't want you to follow up, but I'm glad you did. <laughs> the grasshopper who orders a grasshopper. It's not a setup except for a. <laughs> I've had several problems with this, so I really hope this works out. Your choices are a pub in London or one of Aesop's fables. Oh, okay. It's a pub or it's a fable. And yeah. Can I get, can you give me a second to go grab my list of Aesop's fables? Absolutely not. The yep. crab and the fox. Uh, pub? As far as I know. Venus and the cat. Oh shit, no! No, you were wrong! Wrong! Uh, wrong! For some reason, I thought the word pub started with the letter F. You are wrong! <laughs> it's a fable! Wait, Okay. did you say... F no, yeah, you didn't say fable. Fuck you. Venus and the cat. Um, fable. Yes, yes it is. I've I'm, got it now. The sick kite. Is this one a fable? Yes. The dog and duck. Uh, is this one a pub? Yes. The ass and his masters. Is this a fable? Yeah, you wouldn't want to drink there. The walnut tree. Is this a fable? No, I don't think so. The hoopin' grapes. The hoopin' grapes? Is that a pub? Yes. Okay. Are you sure the second to last one wasn't a fable? Oh boy, it's fact checking day. Yeah. Yes. Please check. <laughs> okay, what was it called again? The walnut tree. I don't know, it could be a Shel Silverstein poem, I don't freaking care. I'm gonna give you some money, whether you the want it or not. The walnut tree is one of Aesop's fables in number 250 in the Perry the Platypus Index. Mmm. I hate my life. The fuck is the Perry the Platypus Index? It just says Perry Index. It's the index used for Aesop's fables, apparently. We're gonna check quick. After double-checking! Well, Technically, it is a cat. It's just a cat that starts with the letter K. Oh, that's true. The cats have spoken. It was both, so I have to give you the money. Oh, this would have been a good opportunity for both as an option.
Everything would have been both. I literally couldn't have... I had a hard time. This was actually such a good crossover that, yeah, it was a bit fucky. So, I that's why I warned you. I warned everybody here that it was a tough one. And... Now it's over. Thank God. Wait. 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 It's over. <laughs> Ooh. Shattered. Mariscopa County. Uh, 3,000. That's fantastic. Damn it. You've lured me into Scopa. Well, it's definitely Scopa. But... <laughs> Mariscopa County. So, someone's not going to like the choices here, but it's too late. Say you're playing cards with someone who likes to yell the name of the game out loud. <coughs> Rico Tatsa. <coughs> I should have let Matthew did that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Please don't make me cough on purpose. It hurts my side. Fun. Which of these phrases <laughs> might you hear him say? <laughs> That's commerce! Mamma mia, pepperoni! Patience yeah. you must have, young spicy meatball! Stop, camps! We lost World War II! Or Svicker, Italy shaped boot liquor! Milan should have been here for this. Damn it. <laughs> Milan's French, though. <sighs> what is. Are you. Sh is he? Oh it's shit, my, my life has did been upturned what side down. Is the answer A? No, not as far as I know. Fine. Kemp's is a game where a player can actually call the word Kemp's if they think their partner has four of a kind. And it actually kind of uh. works like the game Horse and Basketball, where... Whoever spells out Kemp's loses, probably. You know what? That's all I needed was to make sure that it fit the question. We're done. <laughs> School of five. Sorry, Italy, but did you vote in somebody that's effectively Mussolini? You did. It's your own fault. They elected in the very ugly lady from the roof. Oh my gosh, actually, they kind of did. <laughs> Some say she is still raisiny to this day. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger Woods, PGA Tour 2002. 2000, please. Close enough. In fact, I'm going to make it $2,002. Okay. Tiger Woods, PGA Tour 2002. Which of these individuals was never present in the documentary series Tiger King? Don Lewis, Carol Baskin, Joel McHale, or Rachel Starr? Carol Baskin. That's a bit unfortunate, I would say. Aw. <laughs> Aw, Don Lewis! Aww. Don't worry, we'll get to talk about her a lot. Uh, Carol Baskin has received uh, all kinds of abuse online, and hopefully from cops, since there was some speculation that Baskin was in fact involved in the disappearance of Lewis... Back in 1997. Wow. Fine, I'll give you the $2 back. You earned it. Thank you. Also, she, also Carol Baskin's kind of a bitch anyway. Mm-hmm. See, she even gets abuse here. As, you know, it doesn't really matter. She was on TV, so she deserves it. She deserves it for more than just that. people on TV who don't deserve abuse, and that's, they're mostly dead now. Keanu Reeves is still living, you dick. I was thinking of Regis and Alex Trebek and people like that. Keanu yeah, Reeves would absolutely do good at hosting Jeopardy, though. I would say that you have summoned him into our presence today, but as you said, he is taking a very permanent nap and will be back when he feels like it. The yes. girl? Rock my world, girl. He needs his beauty sleep. The man is literally 174. <laughs> All righty. So, so many, many in this house. This was question five, but at least he said it right. It's the Whoops. <laughs> All right, it, Joe. It's easily mistaken. It means I get six. $10,000 yeah. on the line. Hooray. Hooray. List these countries in order of how many heads of state they have from least to most. Andorra, Monaco, Switzerland. 
Andorra, Switzerland, Monaco, Monaco, Andorra, Switzerland, Monaco, Switzerland, Andorra, Switzerland, Monaco, Andorra. I'm feeling C. Is that correct? I'm feeling nauseous. <laughs> Monaco has one sovereign prince. Andorra has two co-princes between Spain and France. And Switzerland, for some ungodly reason that no one will be able to explain, has a seven-member federal council where they, like, switch off who's in charge of the country <laughs> for some reason. It doesn't matter. I'm just glad that they did because it filled in the question. <laughs> Toblerones are pretty good. Very good. I want Toblerone now. Why we got sad music over him eating pie? This one may not be very good. You know what's in there? Peach. Hate peach. Uh, yeah, you see what I mean? <laughs> Fuck. It could only be worse if it was pear. Oh no, he it's, found the pear. You can tell. Pear he's, ice cream. He's right on the edge and he's like, oh no. Every <laughs> every pears, they're, they're, they're squishy and they, and they get your chin all wet. Tear of the pear. What's my score? Negative $13,000. Opposite day is back! Da, da, da. Didn't... I'm more than happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Fish pants. This is round two, which means all point values are doubled. I wonder who has to sit in the room and think up the question um, and round transitions. Somebody who is very locked brilliant. in. He's also very brilliant. This is yours, Joe, considering I took your five. Sorry. Thanks. Doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to get very bad very quick, I have a feeling. <laughs> we get armies of these, but no road kills or bingos. Your choices are Brian Griffin, Bullet, and Mr. Peanut Butter, all of whom oh. are dogs. Uh, Terrible. Has three ex-wives. Brian? Yes. Was originally going to be a golden retriever. Bullet? No. Brian again? No. Mr. Peanut Butter? Believe so. Someone can confirm. Yeah, because he's a Labrador retriever. Ah. Oh. Once, once owned an elderly man as a pet. Bullet? Yep. yep. Glad you got out of that one. Has canonically been to hell. Brian? Nope. Um, bullet? Yep. Actually seen on screen. Uses the catchphrase, doggy doggy Mr. what? Mr. Peanut Butter. Yeah. Yep. Has the tiniest ding dong. Why is this here? I didn't have a choice. Bullet. No. Brian? Yes. Had a child with a dolphin. Is it better? No. Mr. Peanut Butter? No. Bullet? Yeah. Boy, do I love doing all the math that you've created better than usual. I love, I love the fact that I'm you I'm glad screamed. it's not quiet hours yet. I love the fact that you scream, WHY IS THIS HERE?! It's a fact that, uh, needed to be up. trivialized. It's a fact that's come up repeatedly in the show. Game shucks. Alright. Indecent exposure. Uh, I'm gonna go four. Okay. Question seven. Indecent exposure. Binge, binge pipe recommend. recommends we end now. Yeah, not happening. Hey, I'm in control. Because because you enjoy games found on unlabeled disc at Tex Expos that include floating faces chasing you down. And want to go to Russia where while hey, it's military. Hey, look, we uh, tied in Russia after all. <laughs> and want to go to Russia while it's militarily exposed. Binge Pipe recommends to a Russia. Station.exe, yes. Sin ES, <laughs> Embuscade, or Five Nights at Biden. There are multiple Russias, as far as I know. There's <laughs> there's one across the river from me. Is the answer C? It is not. Station.exe is a game demo that was found on an unlabeled disc at a tech expo. It was dumped online recently, and uh, it, yeah, it is an exact replica 
of a uh, military base in Russia that has quite a bit of mystery about it. And also, weird, fricked-up faces hunt you down endlessly, and once they catch you, the game crashes. Aren't you just thrilled beyond belief? I've left the building. Those are the sounds of being thrilled! <laughs> I can hear him, he's crying! Yep! <laughs> Super excited! Total lack of vision. Four. Okay. Poor didn't chickens picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. Total lack of vision. Explain the allegory to the cave to me like I'm five. It's like the episode of the Oh, come on! Stock Factory, let's sing I'm a Little Teapot together and figure it out that way. Just read City of Ember, everyone is literally underground. If you stick this fork in the toaster, I'm sure you'll find out. The answer is C. Son of a... Very much so. Yeah, the al Plato's Allegory of the Cave speaks of three men chained to rocks underground who are told about the rest of the world through shadow puppetry. One is allowed to leave and see the world for himself and brings the knowledge back to the other men where they immediately kill him for going against what is said on the shadow puppetry. That might be an episode of the Twilight Zone. I There's a lot there that I didn't expect Plato to turn into a Stephen King adventure, but nonetheless, yeah, the City of Ember is literally just the same shit. Okay. I, I expected you to be, you know, uh, either up in arms or literally over the moon about Plato, but it's Plato, so... It's the mascot yes. of Publix. Say yes to the distress. 4,000. I've been in distress all day. Glad you got this one. Oh no. I will need to actually remind myself what this one looks like. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh lord. Say yes to the distress. Give me one quick second to read this, and by myself... This is fine. You may, <laughs> you may currently be on the battlefield fighting em battlefield fighting emus, but yeah. this is nevertheless the perfect time to share more about your favorite streaming shows. Using the NATO phonetic alphabet, what are you telling your com Coca Batons? I'm telling you, Coca. You know what? Fuck it. I love to watch Milf Manor on Tango Lima Charlie. I can't get enough of Dr. Pimple Popper on Thomas Liverpool Coco. A Thousand Bound Sisters on Tokyo Lewis Charlie is the best show, I swear. You have to catch Return of the Amish on Tango Lima Coca. It's life changing. Huh, I think I see what the answer is supposed to be. I think the answer is. A? Uh. Sure as shit is. I had to think of for a hot second there, because we actually used the phonetic alphabet at work in some cases, and Charlie I recognized. So it what? had to be A. Who the hell are you communicating with? Pirates? It doesn't matter. <laughs> All these shows are on <laughs> TLC, but that is actually how you currently say TLC, according to NATO. Yep. He, he's, he's has to, he has to communicate this way with the biscuit monger. <laughs> Uh, if I had the phonetic alphabet in front of me, I would totally. So the biscuit mongers who? Oh, biscuit mongers dead. What? The biscuit mongers dead? Not he's in the hospital, so not dead, dead. But he's not coming back, and they're training his replacement. This is terrible to hear about a man I know of second-handedly some of the time. But yeah, that actually sucks. Third-handedly. Oh boy, I don't even. Usually I don't have that many hands on my person at once. I have to pay extra. Doctor, doctor, makes me go, ew! 2000. Alright. Has to say something different at least. Hold me, never let me go. Not really that different. It's a lower amount than I would normally pick. True. Doctor, Doctor makes me go, ew! Which of these time travelers in Doctor Who is most likely becomes the face of Bo, the only floating head in a jar not featured on Futurama? Orson Pink, Captain Jack Harkness, Scaroth, or Mariah Lehrman? I don't care, B. 
You got it right. <laughs> Unbelievable. Captain Jack Harkness was from the Bohane Peninsula in the 51st century and was called by called the face of Bo while there for being the face of the entire peninsula when he got uh, accepted into the Time Agency. And he is theorized to become the face of Bo, the oldest being in the universe. Yep, yep, yep. Question over. Damn it. I missed an opportunity well, to say unbelievable. And it it doesn't hurt me too bad. You aren't going to care. <laughs> Was that the nationwide music? It sounded like it. Somebody's got to be on your side through this mess. Oh, yeah. I'm probably suffering a lot right now. <laughs> but since we mentioned emus... Liberty, 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 liberty. Time. Soon as you see two words on the screen that go together, buzz in. Two thousand bucks if you're right. Two thousand. It works out really well because this jack attack is literally called liberty pivot. And careful, <laughs> not all matches are equal. <sighs> if only. It's gotta be a match that fits <laughs> this clue. It's not too far off. Side effects may vary. Kill you. We're looking for the doctor and recommended use for these drugs. Gotcha. Doctor recommended. <laughs> Painkiller? It absolutely is. Brand name Tylenol. If only. That word means. You mean a suppressant? No. Okay. Antibiotic. Oh well. Pseudomedifin? Is that what that says? Pseudoephedrine. Okay. You're lucky I could pronounce this one. To help with that one. <laughs> Decongestant? Yes, it is. Damn it, I was hoping you get to that one, which is <laughs> true, but not doctor recommended. <laughs> oh, I think I might know this. Do I know this when we get to real answers eventually? Or I missed it, maybe? What do you think it was? That one! No. This is an antidepressant. It's Prozac. Whatever. Try that one again. Reduces cholesterol. It's a statin. Laxative? No, thankfully. Not recommended, at least. Okay. This one reduces stomach acid. Okay. Another one. Steroid? No. Aw, oh, I should have picked sedative. It was. I was 100% sure, and then when I saw the last one, I knew it was right. How do you do? Bad. I think I did very bad. Cancel that one out because of that. Well, I can add 2,000 to your score from the last round, which means you have a grand total of negative $11,000. Yeah, I knew I was doing pretty poorly. If you knew you were doing poorly, why didn't you make sure you did better? I'm not in control of that. Oh, is that maybe, so? Maybe I'm write easier questions. To remind you, I'm hey, you're the one who complained that we have made uh, super easy questions before. Anyway, write easier questions. Write easier questions. 
You gotta make up your mind. You want easy questions or you want a hard game? I'll never get what I want. Clearly you won't. 